guys, this is Erin or Gimme Yarn 418 and I'm back with another video. This is TGIF or Thank God It's Finished. And this is a cross stitch or floss tube edition. Um, I have a lot to show you. Um, it's been about two weeks since my last video and I've been busy. I've been very busy. So let's start with finishes. <clears throat> Everything I have to show you is an FFO. So I'm going to start with my oldest FFO, which was something that I had finished way back when. I don't know when. In the spring, I believe. No, over the winter. <clears throat> and that is the Summer Whirly Gig. It's either Heart and Hand. I think it's Heart and Hand. I don't have the, I don't have the pattern here, but... Um, I saw Priscilla and Chelsea do a video for the Fat Quarter Shop, and I really liked what they did, and I was able to find something similar to what they used. Um, but when I got mine, it was a little smaller than I expected, so not exactly what Priscilla and Chelsea did, but I like it nonetheless. <clears throat> and here's mine. This is the first time I finished into a circle. And my circle is so imperfect. Um, and the first time I did a fabric ruffle. And my fabric ruffle is also imperfect, but I really do like it. And this is stitched on Ada uh, from Pictureless Plus. I don't remember the color. <clears throat> and I just used DMC floss. But I really like it. And I did finish it on a magnet so that when I stitch the other ones, which I do have, I can switch them out. So this came to me broken. One of the legs was actually broken off. So there's a lot of hot glue back there to hold it on. But before I did that, I took this ceramic piece. And because I have the other three patterns, I just traced it onto some sticky board so that all my whirly gigs will be the same size. Not that it really matters because they're not going to be out next to each other, but I'll know and that's enough so this will just go to the finishing supplies the next thing I finished was a whip the last time I showed it to you and it is doggy strings doggy string from Lizzie Kate and I found a sign at Michael's which I'll put a picture up here for you to see that was white and it said be our guest and I got a can of red matte spray paint my first first foray into spray painting which wasn't as bad as I thought and I painted it red and edged it in black and did the roof in black and I guess I'll show you how I finished it here it is my um it came out exactly as I was hoping it would this is stitched on a 28 count lambswool jobelin um that I love I need to get more of this. This was my last piece. This, the piece I used for this was the remnant piece from Dog Lessons, which I need to rearrange my wall up there. Anyway, this is my finish for that. I can't do the directions here. And initially, I had this. Whoopsie. I had this dog print, but that's just way too big for up there. So I'll save this for another craft, probably with my niece. But I pulled out, I have these woodsies, just a bunch of wood shapes, and I pulled out the shapes to make the paw print and just painted them black and hot glued them on there and I think I think it looks great actually uh, Kristen was pretty impressed with this one uh, she said she could she understood my vision when I was talking about it which is sometimes hard for her because I don't really often make a lot of sense <laughs> um, but that she said this looks really good so that was a nice compliment And my other FFO was also a whip the last time you saw it. This is United We Stand by Teresa Kogut. Um, 
This is on some fabric from Picture This Plus. Let me see, I can tell you. Heartland, 16 count Picture This Plus. And all the called for DMC except for the skin and the hair on this girl. The skin just didn't have enough contrast with my fabric and the hair didn't either. So this is my finish. Um, I had intended to use a different fabric behind it. It was a lighter blue, um, but it just, it was too light with everything else I had. And I'm really, ha really happy with this one. Um, I am pretty pleased with the bow I made. I'm pretty pleased with, I'm pretty pleased with it all. I guess I'm just pretty pleased with myself. <clears throat> this palette came from Amazon. I think it was like 11 or $12. It was all distressed and everything. I didn't have to paint it. And I can't wait to hang this up too. And finally, in my FFO train, um... I showed you last week that I was going to, or last time, two weeks ago, that I was going to work on Christmas in July, Jolly July, and that in between I hoped to start some of the Lizzie Kate sleds, which this one is the sled dudes. So I did make Santa, and I did make the snowman. I should say that almost none of these colors are the called for colors because in all the hundreds of skeins of DMC I have, almost none of them were the colors for these sleds, but I love them. I have four more sleds and one more sled dude and then some other sleds I'll show you to work on. These stitched up in no time at all and I'm a slow stitcher, so highly recommend they're so cute and that is all my finishes now for works in progress I only have one active whip and that is um, farmhouse Christmas which everyone has seen and I am stitching this on a piece of linen I know nothing about this linen it has an orange uh, selvage maybe somebody can tell me I know that by company, I think, have different color selvages. Well, this one has an orange selvage, and um, I hate this fabric. This fabric hates me. But despite that, it looks gorgeous. I really like it. When I see it finished, not finished, but come together, the hate the fabric feels for me and I feel for it dissipates. <laughs> so it's worth continuing. And I have six blocks done. I'll put a picture here of where I was last time. This is where I am now. I finished one, two, and three at the top. I started and finished one, two, and three at the top. And the the dairy, the cow one, um, I just had, I was probably about three quarters, two thirds to three quarters done with that one. And I finished off that one. So my goal was to stitch on this for 30 minutes every day. And I have not missed a single day. I have been tempted to miss a single day, um, but I have not missed a single day. And I'm glad I haven't. Um, I only stitch on this at night and I stitch on it after everybody's gone to bed so I can turn on a whole bunch of lights and actually see what I'm doing. Um, there's been a lot of frogging in this to get my stitch counts right, but I am quite concerned about how much room I have, but I'll be finishing it myself. And I did have to go ahead and order because of how much frogging I've done. I ordered one more skein of each color, and I'm hoping that's going to be enough to finish the four on the bottom and to do the border. But after I ordered, I realized that I probably should have ordered two of this brown. That's like the the bark of the trees and whatnot. I can't remember what color that is. <clears throat> that is um, roasted chestnut. So I may contact the shop and see if I can just add a second one of that color into my order. 
so that I have no excuses. Now, I have 12 more days to work on this. I work on this, like I said, after everybody goes to bed. I generally have about two hours of stitching time to work on it before I go to bed. I don't think it's going to be finished in July, and I'm actually okay with that. Um, considering how challenging to me this fabric is, I'm totally okay with that. I just don't like the unevenness of linen. I think I this piece has turned, this is definitely a linen. I think this piece has taught me that linen is not for me. I don't like the slubs and all that, so. That is my active whip. As for what I plan to work on for the next two weeks or so, I'm going to continue working on Farmhouse Christmas. And I'm going to pull out my autumn whirly gig and floss and all that. And depending if I finish Farmhouse Christmas, I'll work on that. Uh, I also have still my Country Cottage Needlework Summer, which I didn't touch at all. In fact, it's in the exact same spot as when I showed it to you last time. So this is still in my active basket of whips and finally I still have this little polar bear of the sled dudes and I have the stocking sleds and I'm hoping that maybe I can get two more done in July if if I can great if not that's fine too I'm not gonna stress too much about it so there's those. Like I said, I have four more sleds to do, like, available to me, because I'm trying not to buy anything right now. I had to break down and buy that floss, though, because I, I need to finish the Farmhouse Christmas, because I've been working on it forever, number one, and number two, I really want the finished object. I have everything that I plan to use to finish it. I really want to finish it, and it's one of my goals for this year. My other goal is to take this wall and rearrange it a bit so I can put some of my new things up there. Um, it shouldn't be too hard. It's just moving around some command hooks. As you can see, most of what I finish is in a hoop so far. Um, but things like this is going to take up a, a lot more space. Oh, I love these girls so much. I just want to sit and talk to them. Such a great pattern. Such a great pattern. Okay, I'm done gushing. So that is all I have for this time. I hope you guys are doing really well. And until next time, I will talk to you later. All right, bye-bye. <music>